Hello friends, I just made this apple crisp and here comes the taster. The taster is going to put some apple crisp on top of the cold ice cream and then serve that. Look at that, it's steamingly hot. Still sizzling. Yeah. Steaming. Yeah. Rick, how is it? Yum yum good. Is it? Is it too sweet? No, it's just right. You think? With the ice cream? Yeah. Just right. Take it from a guinea pig. Yeah? You just, like it? Just right. Okay. Mmm. Alright. Yum yum. I'm going to show you how to make this apple crisp step by step. Got a basket of uh, apples from neighbor's apple tree. Uh, the apples are very good. You can really sense the smell of the fruit. It's just very good apples. I don't know what variety it is. Now the apples are washed, coursed, skinned, and chopped into bite size. I'm going to use half of it to make apple crisp and the other half to make applesauce. First, I'm going to make applesauce. I just put the apples in a pot, add a, a cup of water, and turn on the uh, power, let it cook. And then I'll add a little bit of sugar later on. A little bit of sugar and the cinnamon. Bring it uh, to the boiling. You see, just with one cup of water, now the uh, apples are really, really getting mushy. And then I add a half cup of sugar. You can use brown sugar as well if you want. And then I add some cinnamon. Apple and cinnamon, they go hand in hand. They just enhance each other's flavor. It's really good. And they just put the temperature in low. Let it simmer. It's so easy. Within about 15 to 20 minutes cooking time, the applesauce is ready now. It's cooked. In the meantime, I'm going to uh, cook this portion uh, into apple crisp. I'll add a little bit of uh, walnuts, pecan, crisin, A quarter cup of sugar, half cup of uh, oatmeal, half, half cup of uh, flour, plenty of uh, cinnamon, oh. and uh, some uh, butter, some chopped butter. It's better with butter. Yeah, I'm not going to make uh, toppings because traditionally uh, apple crisp or rhubarb crisp should have some toppings. I'm trying to avoid avoid the uh, carbs and the too much sugar, so I just simplified the uh, recipe. If you want to see the recipe, it will be at the end of the video. I just gave it a good mix. And everything coated with all the ingredients. That way, the uh, dry ingredients would absorb the moisture coming out from the apples because when you cook the apples, the uh, moisture the water content will come out it will be kind of wet and uh, so this will compromise they will complement each other and uh, it will be nice i think it's well mixed now i just uh, put it into my uh, cook my baking pan
and uh, spread the dry stuff on top evenly. Very easy and simple, and it's uh, going to be very good too. And you just bake it. Yep, and you just bake it. I think uh, I will put a little bit. Uh, I'll put the uh, tin foil over so we don't get burned at the beginning till it's nice and uh, soft. And then I will open it. Toaster oven. I'll set it at the 375 degrees on bake. It probably will take about 35 to 40 minutes to cook. So then let it cook. This is the recipe uh, for the crisp. But today I made some modifications. Uh, I didn't make the topping. But uh, other than that, you can use this recipe to try it out. Now it's cooked. And when you can see, the apples is really, really soft. And it's still sizzling. It looks, it's a little bit dry than I expected. But I think that's the, because of this type of uh, apple is not as juicy as I expected. You can cook uh, rhubarb the same way. Now let's try to taste it. It's pretty hot. I, I think I better let it cool down a bit. Yeah. And the other thing is when you serve this, it's better you serve it. This is hot and you serve it as cold ice cream. It just tastes delicious. Good combination. Yum, yeah. yum. Yeah. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.